Good morning and welcome to the beautiful Pyrenees Mountains in France, just next to the Spanish border. I am at the starting point of a hike called Letong Obe, which means Lake Obe. It is almost 1 p.m. and it's already 90 degrees Fahrenheit, so got the sunblock, the sun shirt, two liters of water in my bag. Uh, going to enjoy this amazing area. So let's get walking. Etong Dobe. So as you can see, there's almost no one on this trail. It is August 23rd today, which is still high season in Europe. Um, when you think of big mountains in Europe, you automatically think of the Alps, which I'm sure are not looking like an empty trail with 10 cars in the parking lot. So the Pyrenees are a fabulous mountain chain in their own right, but far less touristic. There are tourist points here. There are places with like a hundred cars, to see a waterfall or whatever. But if you just go off the tourist path a little bit here, you can be all alone in this setting. Whew, already climbing here, so let's keep moving. And to access this trail, we drove about an hour from Erse, and the last 20 minutes was on a dirt road, but it was totally doable in a normal car. It wasn't like big holes everywhere. Careful, there's a death drop on the right. But just doing that gets rid of like 90% of the people. So expecting not huge crowds at the lake when we finally get there. While I'm hiking along here, I'll show you some clips with some information about the area so you can have an idea of what it takes to get here and what's around. The main city in the area is called San Jerome. It has a nice river running through it and it has everything you need there. Many, many supermarkets, plenty of accommodation, gasoline for the car, pretty much everything you could want. But also, around saint Jerome are plenty of small villages which I find more interesting, but have less accommodation and less supermarkets and gas stations, but it's more authentic and you get more of the vibe of the actual local French culture. So, just made it to the top of that first summit, having a little water break here, which is where I just came from. Pretty steep, pretty hard, but not very long. And now, it looks like we're gonna go down into a new area with a different landscape. So, coming down into the valley. Heading up there. Starting to feel the first signs of hunger, so next time I see a good stopping point, which would mean shade, which I don't know if I'll ever find here on this hike, gonna have some lunch and fuel up for the rest of the day here. That's where we came from right there, that little summit. Nothing like a cloud going over the sun. Or a nice
nice few minutes of relief. No signs of the lake yet, but give you a little 360 degree panorama. And I found a nice flat rock to have a little snack. Today it's the eggs. I got a bag of potato chips, high calories. And I also have a orange and an apple and some chocolate cookies. So high calorie food, but with vitamins and protein. And looks like we're going to be ascending up the side of this mountainside. Just saw somebody said it's another 45 minutes to the lake. So in this heat, that's quite a ways, but we'll see how it goes. And just have to keep an eye out for the yellow marks and the cairns that people have put in place, the stacks of rocks. <sighs> Gurgling down the mountainside. Feels like we got like another half hour to go here. You can see the top, I think. And it looks like we are in the middle of the final ascent before we get to this lake. Working my way up that. Pretty challenging. Gonna be worth it when we put our feet in that ice cold water and relax and enjoy the beautiful mountain scenery here. But till then, got some work to do. <sighs> Seen about mm, seven or eight people today, so. Go Pyrenees in high season. And one thing I always do before going on big hikes like this where I'm away from civilization is I download the map. I used to use this one called maps.me, but they started charging to download the offline map. So I found this one, it's called Organic Maps. And it's free, or it has been so far. Okay, so there's my location, and let's see if that Etong is here. There it is, so there's where we're going, right there, the Etong Dobe. Etong is like a small lake or a pond, but I'm hoping it's a little bigger than that. Now let's see how much further that is. And with walking, and another 13 minutes till we're up to the top of this thing. So this way I always know where I'm at. I know where the parking is, where the car is. So if things go wrong, I have a very definitive map. I got 94% battery on my phone and uh, there you go. Better safe than sorry. Feels like we're almost to the summit, which means we're probably almost to this lake. Hopefully that's not it. <laughs> Let's see. Go this way. Oh boy, we're on top of something here. There's the trail. Okay, it's gotta be right around this corner. It's got to be. Here we go. It's been about two hours of hiking. I've been taking it easy. So I could have done this in an hour and a half, but did take breaks, haven't taken a rest day in three days, so I've been hiking every day, so the fatigue is accumulating, but here we go. And I see water, all right. Wow, 
That is a legitimate lake. That is not a pond. Yes. Oh, wow. Worth the hike. Beautiful. All right, made it. Beautiful place with zero people. Doubt this would be empty in the Alps. down to the lake here looks like just a couple minute walk get my feet in that water I'm sure it's extremely cold uh, even in our little place in Erse which is much lower in elevation I've been swimming in the rivers there and it is absolutely freezing so Woo! it's cold um, this is probably glacial level. I am lakeside. Oh, that actually feels really good. Wow. Oh, that's nice. Feels really good, but would not want to swim in it right now. It's pretty much ice cold. On the way back here, you can hear some bells in the distance. Might be some goats. Saw some cows already up here in the Pyrenees. Ah, it sure feels good to be going down and not up. bit of a rainstorm coming in I'm trying to get back down to the car right there this wasn't in the weather forecast so we are focused on quickly getting down this hill without tripping I think we can make it in like 15 since it's all down bummer kind of scary thunder thunder Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get in the car here. <laughs> Man, pretty. Maybe he's just storms coming towards us. Maybe just really friendly, or I don't know. No, no, it doesn't like. He's got that long hair. Look at his eyes. He's like, yeah, better go. <laughs> huh? 